Hey, John Dillon here from visualbroccoli.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take part of your image and make it transparent. So in this example, I want to get rid of this blue box so I can take this image and put it in a video program or in PowerPoint and not have that blue box show up. To do this is fairly simple in Photoshop Elements. I'm going to be using Photoshop Elements 9 for this tutorial. The first thing I need to do once I've opened up my image is go down here where you see the layers palette and down here you'll see our thumbnail of our image and it's going to have background next to it plus a lock icon. Now I can do a lot of things to this image right now but I need to unlock this background and make it into a layer so I can delete the blue background. To do that simply double click on the background text a pop-up is going to come up and say new layer. You can rename it, but I'm only going to have one layer in this tutorial. I'm going to click OK. And now it is a layer and the lock icon is good. The next thing I want to do is go over to the tool palette here to the left and look for the magic wand. I'm going to click down here and if you hover, you'll see the name of the tools. And there's the magic wand. I'm going to select it. And we we'll come over here and hover over the image and you now see that magic wand tool. Now if I select, there's actually three different sections of blue. Think of it like an ocean and these are kind of divided by a continent. So if I select over here, it only gets one side. So I can hit delete and then keep going on to each of these sections. Or I can use a modifier key and on the PC, if I hold down the shift key, you'll now see a plus icon shows up next to my magic wand. And if I click there, I can select multiple areas of my image. And I have a third image here. I'm going to go ahead and select that. On the Mac, you'd use the command key as your modifier. Now we see all these marching ants around the sea of blue. Let's go ahead and hit delete. And now we see the checkered box. I've removed the blue backgrounds. This is now the area that's going to show up transparent. Providing, of course, I save the file format correctly. So I need to deselect these margin ants. Go up to select and hit deselect. So I'm going to hit file, save as. And down here under format, Photoshop file will be fine if you want to come back and work at this later on. But I want to go ahead and save this as a PNG file. If you save it as a JPEG or bitmap, you're going to get a white Pexky box. So you've just all you've done then is replace the blue with a white background. If that's what you want to do, then just choose a JPEG. But I want to preserve the transparency. So I'm going to choose the PNG file. And I'm going to give this a unique name and click Save. And then a pop-up is going to come up here, PNG Options, None or Interlace. I'm going to keep it None and click OK. That's it. Very easy to create a transparency within an image and save it. Well, that's it. Until the next time, hope you always find unique ways to make your next presentation more editable. Take care.